All right, let's get started with this. So I have this repository. It's Laravel DDD example API only. It doesn't have anything. So if I go into resources, views, and there's nothing in there. So it's a plain DDD uh, approach that I'm going to take in this one. We're going to clone this repository. So I can say clone repository, clone from GitHub, and then right here. So it's going to pull up one. There we go. And now I'm going to save this. Uh, do projects. You guys can see how many projects I have. Let's do a new one, Limer stack and then clone it here and it's going to clone everything open and now we have it so it requires a lot of updating i haven't updated this repository in a while i think it's been two years now so let's go ahead and update it a little little bit just to um just for sanity so let's do composer json this one is on 9.2 i think we're on i don't know what the level is but uh I'll leave it on 9.2 right now and try to see if there's any errors. Oh, one thing I want to change is this. So I'm on, let's do PHP version and I'm on 8.1. So anything about that or take this one, 8.1, don't need seven. Maybe just, why not just add 8.2 and 8.3. There, that's the current version. I'm going to say Composer install and let's wait for it to install everything. I think we're up to date and what's the folder name? Laravel DDD example only. I'm going to put, uh, make it a better uh, domain name for now. Let's, what is it? Example, list. I think so. Uh, Rally secure. And again, uh, these are prerequisites. If you have, uh, if you don't have a Mac, you're uh, working with Windows. I basically w think from my perspective, you know uh, something about Laravel. Uh, that's the prerequisite of this. You understand how to install um, everything. Say, for example, uh, going from uh, how to install Laravel, Valet, uh, you at least have a Mac. I, I don't use Windows at all for Laravel. So uh, everything that I'm showing here is going to be uh, for, for Mac OS. So let's do this. Composer dump autoload. And then I'm going to run it Valet again just to make sure it's hopefully starting Nginx now. Uh, one thing I have to do is Valet link. That might work. And there we go. Now we have error. Let's start dealing with this first. All right, so now we have to generate a key. So PHP artisan, I use commands like PHP artisan. So you can do PHP artisan, but I have a shortcut and I've shared uh, that file uh, somewhere in my videos. You, can, you guys can look it up. Uh, PHP artisan, and this is going to be key generate. There we go. And we have a problem. All right, let's see. No such file or direct. Hmm. So, and we already have errors. So route list. And there's a problem. Binding resolution container. Let's see what the error is. All right, I guess I got to scratch everything because this one doesn't have any authentication. Uh, I don't know if I want to keep this uh, repository. Let's figure it out. Let's try to find a one that's working. So if I go back here and say repository and then type would be public. Let's find um, DDD, domain driven development. Should we use this one? Uh, let's see, resource. And I have authentication in this one, which is good. And let's see if I have front end. So it doesn't have any front end. So let's go ahead and use this one, Laravel Domain Driven Design, uh, Domain Driven Development Repository. Let's use this one. I think this one is updated. Poser.json file. Yeah, so this one is updated, Laravel Framework 8.0. So this one's not updated. I, I do have one that I've updated to, I think, uh, Laravel 10. Let's find that. Yep, I found the repository. It's right here. This one is Laravel 10. So let's go ahead and change this. So this is a repository on this one. So let me close this again, open a brand new window, uh, come back and then there we go. Let's resize this. Hey, sorry about that. Uh, wasn't prepared for this. Clone repository and now we have this yeah, clone from right, liner stack. And then let's delete this one because and then go right here. This one, I don't know what happened. Clone from GitHub, that's the repository. Open and bingo. Let's go ahead and redo everything here. Composer, install. And this one will be, uh, I guess, Laravel.test. Yep, there we go. So, LA link, it's probably already there. Let's go ahead and see. Um, for resources, and let me try to, and then refresh. Hello world, refresh, refresh. I guess that's not it. Um, LA link, LA secure. I might have to rename the folder from just Laravel to something else because I think the original project is still in the system. So let's do that. Let's see. Yeah, it's not going to let me do that. So move Laravel. So let's go back a directory. Move Laravel to uh, Limer stack. There we go. CD Limer stack. Open. And now we have this. Let's go ahead and do value secure. 
perfect now it's going to do its job and i don't want to show you guys but behind the scene what's happening is just installing valet and installing composer all right so we're back on the same situation with this one so let's do pa route list have something there we go but now it has ignition api user and bingo so let's get started uh, php artisan make now you have no file also.env that is correct touch.env and now go ahead and generate a file. Actually, uh, no. You're gonna copy .env .example, example to .env, and then it's been a while. I haven't worked on uh, Laravel, so composer and auto load, and now do PHP artisan key generate, and now we have application. It should show me something, and we see hello world. So. Here's where I'm going to stop. Uh, I'm going to link this repository, uh, fresh repository for Laravel 10 domain driven design in the link, uh, link in the description. You'll get an idea um, where to start. And I've shown you prerequisites. This is where we're going to start everything. So I will see you in the next one.